The flag is an easy to use effect that will allow you to create moving flags in your game. The behavior is similar to the trail effect with a few key differences that make it work better for flag effects. To use the flag, first drag and drop the flag icon from the effects section into your scene. When the flag is selected, you'll be able to change its options in the right hand side. In the transform section, we have the flag's position, rotation, scale, and opacity. In the image section, we can add a texture for this flag. For this example, I'm going to drag and drop in an American flag texture. The start width is how many pixels wide the flag will be at the beginning. The end width is how many pixels wide the flag will be at the end. The speed is how fast the flag will move. And the length is how many pixels long the flag will be. We can also change the wave height and length if we want a natural flowing motion for our flag. So let's lower each of these to 75. And now let's see what the flag looks like in our game. By simply pressing the play button, we can see the flag in action. As you can see, it's moving by itself to simulate a flag in the wind. If we were to change the speed and wave properties, we could make the wind seem more subtle or stronger. And that's how to use flags. And these can also be attached to any object in your game, just like the trails effect, but please note that they will not adhere to the laws of gravity and other physics like the trail effect does. Thanks for watching.